Welcome back to my kitchen. If you are new here, my name is Christine. Today we are going to make a two ingredient crock pot dinner. Let's get started. For this recipe, all you need is top round steak. I got a couple packages and onion soup mix. I only have one envelope left of this. So even though this is just a two ingredient crock pot meal, I am going to just cheat slightly and add a third ingredient, which is my mushroom seasoning. We are not going to fuss with this. Normally I would season up some flour and coat the meat and sear up the meat first. I am not doing any of that. I am going to take a super simple, super easy route here and see what happens and see how we like this. I'm going to let it cook all day. At the end, I am going to thicken it probably with cornstarch and water just to make a gravy. And then I'm going to serve it over mashed potatoes and we are going to have corn. Super simple, let's try it. There's a little bit of fat on this piece. I'm going to leave this and let that render down for flavor. I can link this down below. I absolutely love it. But if you don't have it, you could just use a couple packets of the Lipton onion soup mix. There's also a Lipton onion soup mix that's onion mushroom flavored. At the grocery store today, not only do they not have that, which I haven't been able to find it for quite some time, they don't even have any Lipton onion soup mix at all. So I was left with this one little packet. So that's why I added this in, like I said. Okay, let's get a little bit of water in here. That was about 10 ounces. Let's get this plugged in. Okay, I'm sorry about all that noise. That was the reverse osmosis water filter. I meant to not record while that was going, so my apologies if that was distracting. I've got the crock pot plugged in and I'm going to cook it on low for about eight hours, I think. I will let you know when we get to that point how long I cooked it for and we shall see how this turns out. It is many hours later. I turned it off and just let it sit for a few minutes, which is why it's not boiling anymore. Oh my goodness. Look at this deliciousness. You know, interestingly, oh wow, beautiful. It is falling apart. I was going to say interestingly, or I don't know if it's interesting, but I didn't have a whole heck of a lot of time because I didn't start this until two o'clock today. So what I did was I did start it on low and I had it on low, I'm looking at my clock right now, for three hours I cooked it on low. Then I turned it up to high and cooked it for another two hours. That worked out just fine. I'm turning the heat back on because I forgot that I do want to thicken this up a little bit with cornstarch and a little bit of water. Okay, I totally forgot that I did not have my camera on, but I did mix together a couple tablespoons of cornstarch and I just took some of the broth from here and used that to make my slurry and thickened this up. And then I added a splash of heavy cream and it is so good. I gave it a taste test. It's wonderful. I thought maybe I would need to adjust something. It doesn't need any adjustments. Maybe some pepper, because I like a lot of pepper on everything, but I'll just add that to my own. This is wonderful. And the meat is delicious and tender. You can see how beautiful it is. I'm just gonna plate this up and show you how I'm going to serve it. This is a weeknight winner. Let's get some more gravy. A little pepper, because I love pepper. 
We've got our classic buttered corn to go with it. So delicious. Give this one a try. You will not be disappointed, I promise. This couldn't be any easier, friends. I am just going to go enjoy dinner with my family. I just want to say thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time. So good.